<clears throat> so we have this word guess class and we need to replace these values, this um, essentially this entire dictionary with easy, medium, hard. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. But essentially we need a key of easy, medium and hard, or EM and H. And we can grab that from this the words.csv file because the very first index, I'm sorry, the value at index zero um, represents the difficulty level. So where did people put, uh, like open up the CSV val file? I created a, a method. Oh, cool. So you created a method. Um, so like, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, was it, was it a, just a standalone method? Was it a class method? Was it a instance method? It was an instance method. All right. So yeah, let's just do that. Um, def, um, get difficult or get word. I don't get words. I don't know. Is that like a, let's just see if that word. Get word file. So this is gonna do with open um, words dot CSV as uh, we'll just call it CS like word CSV. Um, now we're gonna do a CSV reader. Um, yeah, let's see what we want to do. So CSV reader equals CSV dot reader um, CSV or that word CSV. Looks like I need to import CSV. So import CSV. Um, all right. Now I'm just gonna do for row in CSV reader uh, print row. And I'm gonna take this and um, I'm just gonna execute this up here, get words like so. So once this runs, it's gonna come up here in the, in the dunder init, it's gonna debug, it's going to essentially run all this code and it's going to run this self dot get words. Um, so I'm going to do that because I just want to see if I'm able to read that CSV file. If you did it differently, totally okay. Um, word guess. Uh, and you can see it just read each row, I believe. Cool. <clears throat> So what I'm thinking is that, or that get words. I want this to actually return a dictionary of the easy, medium, and hard, and all the rows. So I'm going to do uh, words, words dict equals an empty dictionary. And if I wanted to grab the very first index of the row, I'm gonna do that, just see if that works. So I've got the easy, medium, and hard right there. So if I wanna add that to that dictionary, I can do words, dict, and then, whoop, not like that, like so. I just wanna print the words dict at the very end. Just to see if I have, oh. I'm just gonna say like none right now. So I've got a dictionary of medium, easy and hard. Now I want to grab all the words except for the first value in each row. How do I do that? 
What's the syntax for that? Brackets. Like so. Number one. All right. Semicolon. Is that it? Yep, it took me a long time of Googling. <laughs> At least you found it, which is good. All right, so there we have a word dict right there. So I'm just gonna return that words dict like so. I'm gonna kill this. And then up here, get words where I'm executing it right there. Instead of executing it right there, I wanna actually assign it to the self dot words. So this get words returns a um, word dictionary. So if everything was done right, and I ran that, I could do easy, A, E, I, O. Uh, I'm just guessing words until, all right, so I got, I know the easy works. Let's try medium, there we go. All right, medium works. Uh, and then hard. So hard works as well. All right. Easy enough right there. If you also just added this, if you didn't do it in a separate method, you can even just do this entire thing up here. So So like if you did that up here, like that, but instead of word dict and have it return something, because this is not, no longer a function, you can literally just do, uh, that was like an empty dictionary and then just do self words, something like that. And that should also work. Easy works, medium works, and hard works. Oh. Cool. Tom, is, is there any any way to format that using a, uh, a dictionary comprehension? I, I, I couldn't find anything about it. I found creating list comprehensions using the with open CSV files, but I couldn't find anything how to do a dictionary comprehension. I've never like for the with the CSV, like using a dictionary comprehension while, while opening the CSV file, iterating through, and then grabbing. Right. Yeah. I, I saw several examples of taking a CSV file and turning it into a list using a list comprehension, but I thought maybe there's a way to do it with a dictionary comprehension. Not that I know of off the top of my head. Yeah. I'd even think about doing using a list comprehension. But if, if you're able to find one. Um, I think that's how I solved mine. You did? Sweet. Yeah. Let's check it out. Do you, want, do you mind sharing your screen? Or, or just like looking at your code? So here's where I put it in instead oh, of using cool. self.words. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's exactly like the list comprehension just with the brackets instead. And then I use the uh, zero index basically as the key. And then from one on was the rest of the value. Mm -hmm. Nice. That, yeah, that's exactly what I was trying to figure out. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I was, I, I misunderstood. I thought you were referring to like using the with open in a inside of a list comprehension. But yeah, yeah awesome. that, initially that's, I thought maybe there would be a way to do that, okay. but, but that's good enough right there. Oh yeah, really good, cool. Good job.